no face on Britain streets. We've been clear to the police that they have our full backing in taking the strongest possible action against perpetrators, including we're making sure that there are more prosecutors, uh, there are sufficient prison places, and also that the courts stand ready, because anyone who engages in this kind of disorder needs to be clear that they will pay the price. <laughs> to the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, the Lord Chancellor, and for me as Home Secretary, that we will give the police all the backing that they need in the actions that they are taking in response to this, this criminal disorder and thuggery, because it has no place on Britain's streets. That's why we're ensuring that there are additional prosecutors in place this weekend, that the courts stand ready as well. Uh, we have to make sure that anyone who engages in this kind of unacceptable disorder really pays the price. What did she say that was so terribly, terribly offensive? Well, let's start off with her telling you that you're a criminal when you're fighting for your rights and the police should have been told to stand down and the least amount of resistance, the least amount of force be used on citizens who are angry and upset. And we see your anger and we see your frustration. And we ask that you return home because you are a valuable taxpaying citizen who is very angry at the current situation and the government sees you and hears you but no listen to it and the full force of the law including imprisonment travel bans and more because it's really important that communities can feel safe on the streets and there are consequences for breaking the law it's the communities that are out on the streets it is the communities that are saying we cannot take enough anymore. Breaking the law is the law not there to protect the very people you are assaulting. When you hear this kind of rhetoric, it's too late for this kind of behavior. They simply don't care. Saddest day ever.